I kind of feel bad for Arlo out here today. We're like two crews inside, both yelling numbers at him and simultaneously. Is this, is, is this four and a quarter? And he's running around like yeah. crazy. Yes. He's, hey, quit yelling at my man. He's he's over. He's overloaded. No, no. Look, he's got two people, three people yelling at him. He's still thinking about what's for lunch. He's bored out of his mind. <laughs> We're back on site and we're inside because it's raining and the project we need to do is inside. We got all of us in here and it's a little tight. What we got going on? <laughs> Five guys in a tiny house. We got some ceilings to put in. I've got the material out there under the covered deck and we're gonna start at the TOP. It's the top. Because we gotta get above these collar tie beams and I don't know if you've ever tried to fish a board in through some trusses or something after you've already covered up the gable ends. It's not easy. So our material is the same length as this room, is well, that right? Unfortunately, this room's 20, the material is 12, but the other room is 12. So it'll be one cut, one piece per row. That'll be really nice. Uh, but in this room, to get above the collar ties, we're being real strategic about this. We're doing it before drywall so that we can slide the boards through that hole in the wall right, right there, there. Yep. and we can slip them back in above the collar ties is the only way that I can get long boards above the collar ties. Then we can do the other room because it will slide back into the attic. Once it goes up, it makes me go back. This is the way the wall will go in. All right, I'm just gonna tack it here. <laughs> We're just gonna get my glasses on here. Uh, three sixteenths. Forty-three, three sixteenths. We might have some little wackadoodle do here. Is this uh, forty-three and nine? Yep. Oh well. Uh, it's got an angle on it. Yep. That's I it. I think I found the offender there. This one we'll call square. All right, Arlo. All right, your way. Go, 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 left, go. Okay. It's all you. We did a lot of thinking about where to place our first full row to make it easy for ourselves and to make it not have a skinny rip at the top or the bottom. That doesn't look as good. No, so it's a lot of factors and you can't always have everything that you want. We decided this is the best place to start. We're using our beams as a registration point because we were very careful to get the layout of these beams like as perfect as possible. And this gives us a really easy way to start with a straight line at the bottom. We're gonna fill in and that'll take up almost the entire depth of the angle of the beam. And then we'll have a tiny little notch at the top. So to me, that makes it a lot easier. Oh yeah, and it's Halloween, by the way. Is that today? Yeah, look. Oh shoot, I got a little <laughs> dead skeleton guy hanging in the kitchen. Cool, that's never happened before. That was still a little tricky to get that up there. I think we should notch it in place yeah. instead of taking it down and cutting it. It wasn't so fast and easy, so I agree. I think we're gonna cut in place and uh, we don't wanna be handing that up and down four times to fit, mm -hmm. so. Mm. This is the look we're gonna get here. Some boards are tight, some are slightly gapped, and that's okay. We want it to look rustic, and that's what's gonna happen with a 12 inch wide board. Some of them have a little bit of crown to them, so you can't really get them tight. So naturally, that's what's gonna happen, and that's fine for what we want here. Rustic. Jono doesn't like the cracks. Uh, <laughs> He's killing him. Oh, hose, hose. It has to be that way, though. It's worth a mention here that the gaps in our finished material have no effect on the overall envelope of the building, like the air sealing. That's all been taken care of with spray foam and zip tape and sticky underlayment under the shingles. Every day, blocking the road. In the case that we didn't have this spray foam, what we'd have to do is add an air barrier underneath this or on top of it, I guess. And usually what we'd use for that is a builder's wrap. So if you had bad insulation, like we've had a lot of times, that's what you have to do to keep air from just moving through these cracks. Bat insulation, if I said that, it sounded like bad, bat. Oh, that's got it. 
Oh, oh man. Rock out. Let's see. I need a, I need another method here. Did that work? Mm. Uh, no. It's Maybe real close. Get 12 foot, one cold air. One four four, one cold air. Look great when it's finished. Yeah, now it's okay, field. man. Yeah, it, it's a look. I'm just gonna wear a hat tomorrow. <laughs> I want to address a couple comments we saw about not seeing hurricane ties in here, the rafters. That's because there are no hurricane ties. It's these screws right here. These are about eight inches long and threaded the whole way, and they are meant to replace a hurricane tie. I think they're called hurricane screws. Is that right, Ray? Truss, truss, truss lock screws. Anyway, they replace the, the normal traditional uh, galvanized hurricane tie that you see on the face of the top plates. Yeah, and I believe that's why I moved out of Florida. We don't have hurricanes. No here. hurricanes here. That's no. right. If, we, if it comes, it's like a tropical yeah, storm, if that. So. It's like a couple drops of rain. Yeah. People are at the store buying plywood. <laughs> uh, what hurricane was that that came through like three years ago? It was a big one. Everybody was freaking out here. Uh, we went to Walmart. We just moved into our apartment, so we went to get some stuff. Every, everything was gone. <laughs> Everybody was freaking out, and I'm like, How, are, we're nowhere near close to the shore. What, what's going on? But I, they made it seem like it was going to hit. It's yeah. fake news, baby. I know. I think Walmart pays to have the fake news put on, because then they go sell out. No, dude, Walmart's pure. pure. <laughs> Walmart's pure. I think the real issue is that most of the people that live here came from Florida. So when they hear the word hurricane, it's panic. Panic time. That's the problem. True work. That's set on 50 degree bevel, huh? Yeah, it's not yeah. often you need to go past 45, but in this place here on the uh, ridge, I got to, and this thing lays right over. That's nice. That's, it is nice. You know, if you're gonna get a saw, have one that go to 50 degree bevel, is, I, saves you. I will say, ripping it with a skill saw is the way to go because I don't think a table saw goes past 45. Right. I've never seen one that does. And on top of that, how do you, you, you gotta rip a bevel, or we're ripping a taper here, so it's not gonna Yeah, that's right. true, it is tapered. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we should be good. Wait, wow. Down. Okay. I'll let you take care of that with a big saw. This kind of a ceiling has its pros and cons, but I'm going to say my favorite part is that it's so easy to install. It's not tongue and groove. If you have ever tried to install a 16 foot piece of TNG on a ceiling, on a ceiling, either, either by yourself or with one other person, you probably lost your mind. You, I can't even <laughs> express the frustration. If you feel me out there, Leave a comment. That's the maddest I've ever been in my life, was trying to get one of those to click in that wouldn't and your shoulders are burning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Losing it. Uh. Jono and I are doing the lower half, which Jason called the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> so we're done with the low-hanging fruit over here. We're gonna swap to this side. They're gonna swap from the high-hanging fruit on this side to over on this side. And it, that's working really good because we're not getting in each other's way very much. And, well, and the good thing is the low-hanging fruit looks really precise. Yeah. <laughs> closed gaps. It was, it was, the higher it goes, the more you can get away with. <laughs> This video is brought to you by AG1 by Athletic Greens. And what I've found in my life is that my health is priceless. Like if I'm not healthy, nothing else matters. I need to be the leader of my family's adventures. I gotta go to work every day and I just wanna feel good. It really matters to me. And that's why I'm trying to make healthy habits now that support my health and make me feel great. If you're not familiar with Athletic Greens, it's a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutrition gaps in your diet and support your body's nutrition needs across four pillars of health, gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. It's just one scoop and eight ounces of water once a day, that's it. And even though Athletic Greens is green, it does not taste like broccoli or ground up Brussels sprouts. To me, it actually has a semi-sweet taste to it. I really love the extra energy level I feel all day long when I use AG1. And I also love that my nutrition gaps when I'm on the road and not eating exactly like I should be are getting filled and I'm staying healthy. Head to the link in our video description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And this is a game changer for supporting your immune system. Again, Athletic Greens is gonna give my community an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D 
and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. Got an Arlo pro tip. We got to rip this board at nine and one eighth. His big 12 square doesn't have a nine in the eighth increment. It's got nine and a quarter. So we're just going to make that line and then cut the other side of the line. And that's going to give us nine and an eighth. Something I'm using all the time on my tape on this overhead work is the little ear up top so that I can hold the tape the right way up, hook it on something and pull. If you turn your tape upside down, it just does that, right? So that, that's a really good thing if you're working overhead. We're on a scouting trip here. This other room is 12 feet. I think we got 12 foot boards. So I think we'll need 16 boards. Let's see if we got enough left. That would be important. So they can use two more. Hmm, this can be close. <laughs> so we're almost done. I'm curious. It looks to me like you might be able to get this in without okay, sticking it in the wall. Down. I'm just curious. I think it's it's a maybe. I mean, it might work. No, I get. Hmm. All right, now turn it. Turn it sideways. <laughs> oh, that oh, was oh, who was right that time? Oh, have you scouted you the honey hole in the other room yet? You could have not done the wall thing the whole time. <laughs> it's all good. Why did you make me do that? <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy about it. Yeah. Oh, just using Arlo's 36 volt Makita here. And I'm not sure, but it feels like to me it has some sort of material <laughs> sensing like it senses the load that's on the it, blade it and adjust oh it, it does. does yeah it does yeah it, totally it like does. cranked up higher and then ooh, it slowed yeah, down yeah, and realize yeah it says it has a smart technology that huh. senses the torque it needs and it adjusts the blade so it doesn't waste it. the battery yeah that's what it says so. hmm. wow we'll find this out. thing's got a brain it's like mm, i'm smarter uh -oh, than you uh -oh. What's going on? <laughs> smarter than a piece of wood anyway hold that So this is all looking done. The bad news is all of the thousand nails we just shot into it, we're gonna have to putty and fill them before we paint it. Six I gotta go trick or treating today, yeah. bud. <laughs> so last time we went to lunch, we got a little uh, yeah, I did. You know, I did. customization of the seat there. So. What is that? Who did it's that? I, wait, I wasn't painting. Who was it? So. No, uh, we'll have to review the footage, I'm not sure. That wouldn't With be me. me. I don't sit shag <laughs> It might have been me, but I remember I told you. I said, I think I have paint in my pants. And you're like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> I remember saying that. I didn't sure. know it was that much paint. I don't think that was me because I was in the back. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you're looking to do something like this for yourself, these boards were $40 each. And I would say that we needed 40 of them. 50. So 50, uh, let's do the math. I don't know, something like $2,000 worth of boards. Then we yep. primed them, then we installed them. We're also gonna paint them later. Yes, so, so there's a lot of touching them. I'm making Brett feel real sad right now. I've already felt it's sad. Ching, ching, I'm ching, over ching, it, ching, ching, I'm ching. over it. Where's your wallet, bud? It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's got the keys. It looks good I though. I like that it's rustic. Hey. And it, you know, you can't replicate Rustic. Nope. And let me know if you need a loan or something, Brett. Yeah. Ten percent interest. I got you. Ten percent. That's actually yeah. not a bad deal. Oh, uh, twelve percent. Banks, <laughs> <over, laughs> banks over seven. Oh, twenty percent. Banks yeah. over seven. I'll loan you money all day long. Let's see. What's prime? Like four and a half plus, you know, plus or minus. I don't know what is prime. That's a good question. Four and a half, something like that. So, and it'll go up again in a week. 
Jonah's got a little wetted down drywall mud. And that's what we're spackling the holes with. That's all you need. cool technique for doing weird measurements. Jason's using a scrap piece of board and making it parallel to what we've got installed already and then taking a measurement between like that that's going to give us our cut out notch around the top of the beam. The same thickness material. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's hard to measure something like that otherwise what I found. It is. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> All right kid. <laughs> Yo, Jamie, there's a whole crew of guys with hard hats and a power oh my truck gosh. right um, here. You, you know, we are... Are they, uh, are they going to hook you up today? So I went out there. That is the Duke Energy guys. They're going to hang a transformer on the pole across the street. And the reason I'm just describing this is because they said we cannot film them for liability reasons. If they were to do anything that wasn't up to their OSHA code, which is about impossible, they could get fired. So we're not going to film them, but that they are hooking us up. Let's watch it. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. I've never done that one. <laughs> paint that thing you don't get out of my face. <laughs> I love Milton Remember? Jay sitting right at the end of the day when he's been painting all day. He's so angry. Dude, my hand, I got carpal tunnel in my hand. I got painting tunnel in my hand. <laughs> They're killing me. Ray's got his neck leaned back like this for like two hours straight. Yeah. My neck, my back, my neck and my back. <laughs> On a serious note, if you actually do this for a living, I applaud you. Because, I don't know, you must have a different gene or something than I do. <laughs> You're a different breed. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know how you do it. I'd be a raging alcoholic and kill somebody if I did this for a living. I can't help you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure uh, we're going to put it in there anyway. <laughs> Hey, thanks for building with us today. We appreciate it. And welcome to my office. <laughs> office. Some people call it a shed. I don't know. He calls it an office. I don't know. <laughs> a couple of quick announcements from my office. Number one, the Perkins Builder Belt is going on a huge slash last minute deal sale before Christmas. We're doing it. $75 off Perkins Builder Belt and the harness system. It's between now and December 21st. That gives us three days to ship it to you. Just use code last minute. 75 you got 75 bucks off that's the cheapest you'll ever get one uh so that's awesome and number two we're about to dive into a short video series of me fixing my back deck and upgrading it and making it awesome it was a huge project and we got some really cool stuff going on there so make sure to check back for that soon we'll see you on the next one